Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. So I'm going to attempt to do a you and the other person spread, or whatever it is. But anyway, if this is the overall energy, I would say this is you and this is them. You choose what side is you, you know, whatever it is, it is. So what do we got for Gemini? First week of August, August 2nd through what, the 10th, the 9th, something like that. What do we have for Gemini? Overall energy. The Emperor reversed. And the King of Wands reversed. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries. You may be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with... It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Leo, a Sagittarius. It could be a Taurus. It's somebody... It could be anybody. It could be any sign whatsoever. But this is somebody that is very controlling. So we have... And whether it's you or them, okay? This is a masculine energy. Either way you look at it, it's a masculine energy um, that is very, very, very controlling. There could be corruptness. There could be illegal dealings here. Somebody that lacks foresight, that lacks experience. This is an emperor wannabe. Somebody that wants to be in charge. Somebody that pretends they know it all. They don't know it all. They think they know it all. This is somebody that lacks experience here. They may... You know, like to be the boss, but they don't have enough experience to be the boss. So the overall energy is about control between the two of you. We have control issues here. And there's anger issues. You could be dealing with somebody that has, you know, anger issues or somebody that makes you angry. You know, it definitely looks... Um, it looks like we have uh, unreasonable. This you, There's somebody in this scenario already... That is very, very unreasonable. Okay? Um, they're not interested in helping. Uh, they desert you in the time of need. Could be a father figure. Could be a boss. It's somebody that um, is very, very controlling. This is all about control. Ego as well. Somebody has a humongous ego right here. Humongous. Um, and they're very unreasonable. So the overall energy between you and whoever it is that you're dealing with is power and control. You got somebody here that is very, very controlling. Okay. The Four of Cups. Temperance reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. So there is making a conscious change to let go. This is not balanced. Uh, discontent. It's raining out. It's pouring. It's, 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 uh, we have a sad, sadness here. Somebody is sad. There, there's the lack of harmony. There's a lack of peace. There's a lack of exchange. You know, there's, there's, um, if this is extremely overwhelming, this person over here is overwhelmed because whoever they're dealing with may not be cooperating. You can't reason with this person. So we're talking about the first week of August. Anyway, let's get over here. The lovers. Five of five of cups reversed. And the six of pentacles. Now this is giving to somebody. We have sixes right here. And the five of cups reversed. We have the five of swords on the bottom. Uh, we have somebody here that is has anger issues. You're dealing with somebody that has some anger issues. They like to win at all costs. Okay, I don't know who you're dealing with, Gemini. Maybe this is you if you're the cross watcher. Maybe it's the Gemini. We definitely have somebody here that wants to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. It's it's pretty clear. And uh, so the lovers is a choice between two. Uh, it's a choice between two people. It's a choice between commitment. We have the Five of Cups reversed. There could be somebody from the past that is trying to reconnect. Um, this is seizing a new opportunity, interested in something else. Um, there's an opportunity, unexpected, unexpected choice in love. You could be dealing with somebody that... Um, is giving their attention to somebody else. 
and I feel like it could be somebody from the past and I'm you know I'm not sure why I feel so strongly about that but I do so I feel like you I think that you're over here I do I feel like you're over here I feel like you're discontent you're sad um, there's emotional turmoil it's not accepting with the temperance reversed uh, something is off and I think that you know that something is off with these two cards okay something is off and I feel like you you know it there's un, there's disharmony there's imbalance there's uh, a lack of exchange you know things aren't going well there, there's uh, it's not healthy there's frustrations here okay there is there could even be some inappropriate behavior and you know it you know it it feels like you you're feeling like something is off and you're really 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 thinking about it this week uh, you may be focusing on your weight or some sort of baggage or some sort of burden with the Ten of Wands reversed. Maybe you're focused on, on losing weight as well or getting rid of some responsibilities or you have too many responsibilities or you're just needing to find balance, okay? You're trying to do too much. You've got so much weight on your back. You're, you're very unbalanced this week and I feel like you're struggling. Maybe you're struggling to lose weight or you're need to lose weight or you're um you, there's too much if you take a look at this this is let go of what you're holding on to you and it's reverse and that's why i'm telling you, you need to let go we have somebody here that is is trying to do too much they're trying to carry too much or they are carrying too much or they're 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 trying to prove themselves you know there's nothing to prove let it go let it go so there's something that you need to let go of that is, is causing you to be frustrated. It's causing you a lot of upset. Um, I feel like, you know, you've reached a point where you're doing a lot of wondering if this is, if this is even worth it. I think that you're like, why is this happening? Why can't I find balance in my life? And I feel like you need to take control you know, maybe you you don't have, maybe this is your energy where you've lost control or you don't have determination or you don't have the willpower. Or you've lost your confidence or um, you've lost your strength. You've lost your ambition. There's no drive here because that's the meanings of these cards as well. There's somebody here that isn't really putting in effort, okay? So maybe you need to put in more effort to be successful. But anyhow, over here, this person, well, this is, remember, this is you and the other person. Whoever this person is over here, this person is committed. They are committed. They're, they're looking for love. They're trying to give. They want to give. Um, maybe they want to help you. Maybe there's somebody over here that wants to help you, you know, they, maybe this person has come into your life and, and they have a lot to offer and you need to give them a chance. It feels like you're not giving somebody a chance. Um, the Five of Cups reversed is, it's kind of like a turning point. This is letting, letting bygones be bygones. It's focusing on the future, accepting, uh, accepting, um, what somebody is giving you. I feel like there is somebody that is trying to give you help. They're trying to connect with you and you need to let them. It feels like you're not really letting them. Somebody is interested in you. That's what I see over here. I feel like you have somebody over here that is interested in you. I feel like this is a perfect match for you. But you may you may be feeling like you're not good enough. Okay, you may feel like something is off. You know? There's, there's there's something going on here. There's 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 a lot of baggage. Maybe you lack self confidence, and that this would say that there's there's there is there's there is lack of self confidence here, and I think it's on your side. I do think it's on your side. I think that there's potential for a marriage partner here with whoever you're with. You know, maybe this person is thinking about marriage. They're thinking your potential, or they want to be with you. You know, maybe there's been some upsets in the past or there's been some sort of uh, pettiness. It feels like there's been some sort of pettiness. There may have been, you know, times where there was a lack of reciprocation or whatever. And now this person is giving and you're not letting bygones be bygones. Anyhow, 
there's definitely power and control issues here. I think you need to let go of your need to prove anything. Okay, you don't got nothing to prove. I think that you need to look at things differently. I feel like um, this is being unreasonable. Try to be reasonable. Try to definitely look at things differently. Um, there's definitely some sort of, and I think it's it's some sort of imbalance in regards to you needing to prove something. It's like maybe you, it's, there's a lack of worth here as well. I feel like you, you, you may feel like you're not good enough, but you are good enough. However, that resonates with you. Um, the overall energy is the emperor reverse, needing to let go of control. You need to just go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. Stop trying to control the outcome. Let the outcome happen. It will happen as it should. It feels like you're trying to control an outcome. Let it happen. You don't need to control everything. Just go with the flow. You need to go with the flow. There's nothing to prove. Just go with the flow. Now this is reversed. Interesting. Now it's just now maybe this was your energy wanting to win at all costs, you know, wanting to be the boss because this is wanting to be the boss and this one was too. It's not about being the boss. It's about working together and this is working together and this is working together. It's about working as a team. This is nothing left to prove. It's time to be happy. There's nothing to prove here. You don't got to prove yourself to this person. You may feel like you need to prove yourself, but you don't. I think you need to let go of the the, the need to, to prove yourself, however that resonates with you. You know, um, the Five of Swords reverse may be, you know, feeling defeated. You know, you may be feeling defeated. Um, there's something that is about to be released as well for you. You're going to be releasing something that you have been holding on to that has caused a lot of disharmony in your life may have something to do with a father or a boss this is a release this is poor health could be within yourself though as well Now, this is not heeding a warning. Not listening. Very egotistical. There's somebody here that isn't listening. There's health issues here as well for, for you. I think that you need to uh, pay attention to your health. Maybe it's a weight or baggage or something, stress. There's something that you need to release, that you need, to re you need some sort of relief. You could also be dealing with somebody that is revengeful towards you, just so you know. Or it's you. Don't need to seek revenge. You don't need to be win at all. You don't need to win. It's not about seeking revenge. You, I'm not sure what is going on. You may be dealing with somebody else that is seeking revenge. This is like a war. It really is. And this is ready to fight. You could be, de there could be a fight. Okay, just saying. You may be dealing with somebody who wants to fight with you this week. I've just got to be honest with you. And you're overwhelmed by this. You may feel very, very alone. There could be, you could be crying, you know, and sad. Just saying. Because whoever you're dealing with, you know, is wants to fight all the time. Or fights a lot. And, you know, there's definitely something going on here. And this, I'm not sure if, what the hell, this could be you. This could be you, your energy, where you need to let go of the need to control. Somebody, this is the overall energy between the two of you. And we, they, they're very similar energies. We have power struggles here. You are struggling with an individual that, you know, you both want to be in control. And it's not about that. You need to be able to work together. You are having a hard time working with somebody because of, you know, who's the winner here? Who's the boss here? The need to compete. You know, it's not about the competition. It's about... Uh, happiness so anyway there's a lot of discontent and I think the discontent is on your side um, anyhow more on your side than it is the other person's I feel like the other person um, 
the strength reversed tower reversed wow this is about generosity it's about giving and it's about uh, a connection whoever this person is is feeling uh disruption this is major disruption with a tower reversed and this is grief whoever this person is is grieving this person is grieving they want things to get better they want to rebuild they they want to uh it feels like whoever you're dealing with And starting to feel inadequate. They're starting to feel worn down. It feels like they're trying. This person is trying. This person is starting to feel weak though. There's weakness here. There's there's uh, giving up. You may be dealing with somebody that is giving up. Or, or this could be you. Or this could be your side. There's definitely a choice here. Somebody may be engaging with somebody else. Because this is a choice between two. And maybe that's you. You may, because this is a, this is a Gemini card. You and this is about giving to two people. So there's definitely two people here. And this is a new opportunity that comes suddenly. It's sudden, and this is very sudden. You know, you may have somebody new. And we got two people here, which is interesting. I know I'm going all over the place, but that's what it is. Your, your week is, you know, it's a whole week of different things happening. I feel like there is, you're going to have an option. You're going to have an option this week. Or your person has an option. There's a choice between two people here. This is a uh, shakeup. It's a major shakeup, especially in reverse, that cannot be avoided. I think it comes in like a storm. We have a storm here and a storm here. You are about to experience some stormy weather this week. I do believe so. I think it's going to be, you know, I think there's going to be some anger, angry, anger. Okay, there's, I do, I feel like there's going to be some anger. There's going to be some fights. I'm just being honest. There's going to be some fights. I think that you're going to be overwhelmed. I think you may, maybe somebody uh, shed some light on a situation about another person. I mean, the lover's card is a choice. It is a choice. It's a choice between two people. Um, it could be somebody from the past. Somebody from the past could you know, show up and you're in a new relationship, you know, or vice versa could happen for them, you know, the, whoever you're dealing with. If some of you are dealing with a Leo, you know, or the person that you're dealing with is dealing with a Leo and this person likes control. Whoever this person is, it feels like it's a fire sign. They like control and when they lose control, they, they fight for it. They fight for it because of their ego. So there's somebody here that has a humongous ego. They really do. And I think it's impacting your partnership. I think it's going to impact your partnership. And you're going to be feeling really discontent over what is going on. Um... Uh, you're dealing with an individual that I think has somebody from their past that is trying to um, get attention from them. And I, it's going to affect you. I think it's going to affect you. Anyhow, um, whoever this person is that your person is dealing with, likes to be in control and they're going to cause some problems i think they're going to cause some problems for your relationship i think it's like it could be a hostile situation it could be this is like are you ready to fight are you ready to fight for what you want because you might have to okay there's some competition i feel like there's a competition here there's definitely going to be an uproar. There's about to be a shakeup. And I think it's somebody coming back from the past that, you know, either wants you or wants your partner. And they don't really want them. They just like the control they have over the situation. It's sick. It's mentally dysfunctional. I think your person is dealing with somebody that is mentally dysfunctional. But they may not see that.
Anyhow, um, I think what it is is because you're building a new foundation with somebody. It's almost like it's one of their exes, and I don't know why I want to keep saying that. Wants to remain in control. Yeah, it's something coming back from the dead. That's the Ten of Swords reversed. So it is. It's some, somebody coming back, whether it's in your life or their life. So be prepared for that. I think there's this is like going to be very overwhelming to you. And you may be thinking, well, what's going to happen now? It's definitely going to be, dis there's going to be some disharmony. You're going to be not feeling at peace with the whole situation. Good luck.